Hello. Hello. You're far more Christmassy than I am. Me? Yes. What are you talking about? Hello. Hello. How are you? You look Christmassy. I do. I, I put. I dressed in red. Look in red yeah. earrings. Yeah, you're ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. How about you? Let me see I what's just... on your. This. What's on the? Is that a bib? I'd say I wear a bib. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? Is that a bib? No, it's for Santa. Oh, that's nice. All these little left... gingerbread people are sacrificing their lives for him. Have you left him some hot chocolate? No. It's it because it's too early yet. You've got another week and a day to wait. I know you. No, excited. because this is our Christmas episode, so this is coming out on Christmas. So you're thinking oh, of actual okay. time, not Hollywood time. We're doing Hollywood no. time. Okay. It is Christmas. It's Christmas Day. <laughs> for Christ's sake. Well, and I'm saying that in the sense that it's for him. For Christ. Today's the only day where you can go, oh, for Christ's sake. But if someone says, what are you saying? You go, well, I'm just, it's Christmas, for Christ's sake. Yeah. 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 Two, se two separate words. Yeah. Yes, so, uh, so happy yeah. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. <laughs> Happy holidays to you too. And I got your box. Oh, good. Yes, I got yours. Here we decided me. no presents, and I sent you one. I know, and I lived up to it. No presents. Yeah, you did your part. Yeah, for yeah, Christ's sake. Yeah. yeah, but maybe a little something might turn up. You don't know. A turnip? Are you taking that from the farmer's garden? Is that scrumping? <laughs> you said to me a turnip. <laughs> um, no. So let's talk first about, uh, it's a weird Christmas, but I was talking recently about the experience of finding out that Santa isn't real. Very yes. bizarre experience for a child, right? Yes. How yes, do you very... feel on the parental end, lying and, and building up the hopes of a child only to know eventually you will have to remove that magic from their existence. Um, well, I think it's all right, don't you? But I, I was very naughty with Nick. We were talking about this, weren't we? Why? I, was, I don't remember. No, I, I don't think we were talking about with you. When we were in England one year, Nick kept saying to me, he was only oh, about five. Yeah. Okay, fine. Pardon? Oh, I was going to say, how old is he? He was about five or six, and he kept saying to me, um, tell me if... Tell me if Father Christmas is real. Please tell me if Father Christmas is real. And he went on and on. And then I said to him, well, no, he isn't real. I think it's such a bizarre predicament for a parent because you're lying. Then you have to keep perpetuating the bullshit. And then at some point you have to admit that it's all been bullshit. I remember, I remember asking you before the reveal if he was real, probably two or three years before, and you'd reconvince me that he was, only till, you know, three years later when I was 19, have you tell me that it was not true. But I do really remember that. I remember so, I remember pressing you too. I remember going, but I was just like, fine. I was, all these things were just sort of not adding up anymore that it just never crossed my mind. But I just started going like, wait, it's like this guy's going to every house and he's eating every cookie and this is one yeah. man in one yeah. night? Uh, well, I, I think that's what's so amazing, really, because you do, as a parent, you think, gosh, how do the children believe that? Yeah. Well, yeah, but you're the parents. Of course they're going to believe it. I know. Look at your, even, you've even got a red um, drinking bottle. Have you got, have you got wine in it? Uh, no. No. It's, Sherry? Uh, tequila. Sherry to celebrate Christmas? Tequila. Tequila. To celebrate alcoholism. That's good. That's Thank good. That's 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 um, very good. Yeah, I just always find that's so strange. I think that's such a weird. I think it's really to, a weird lie yeah. to have to keep going. Yeah, I um, know. Well, my and she told me when I was four. I remember we were going to. And everyone's she said, just finding out early on your end. I know, I know, but you didn't. No, I waited until I was nineteen, and then I was. Are you like, looking at your phone? Are you looking? Yeah, at your I got phone? a text. I had to text back. I'm sorry. Did You're you? Right. Who was it? Doesn't who was matter. it from? None of your business. It is my business. One of the elves. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> okay, well, the first thing I thought we could do, because it's a very yeah. special episode. It's not a yes. regular episode, special episode. Are you, going, are you going to sing us a Christmas song? No. No, okay. I'm not. What I was Just going check. to do was see if you wanted to celebrate in the magic of a Christmas cracker with me. Yes, look at us. Same page. Now, yours, much bigger and better. This is America, so I had to find what I could find. I don't know whether it's better, but it's bigger, isn't it? Bigger. So why don't we have a Christmas cracker together? So on the count of three, why don't we, oh, you're going to do it that way? Well, only because I'm not very good at doing that way, unless somebody is really actually pulling it. Wait a minute, I'll try. Shall I try? Try. I want to show you the nice bows of mine. Though, They're Lord. very nice. Isn't it nice? Yeah. Okay. Okay, mine didn't bang. Mine bang. Did you hear it? Yeah, but it was a slight bang. Mine didn't bang very loudly. Okay. No, so this is happy. what this is what we used to love when we were younger. I've got a pencil sharpener. <gasps> I've got um, some nail clippers. Oh, well, you made that seem like you were going to have a pencil. Look, Your reaction look. was that of, oh, I've got the pencil. And then we would be like, oh, that's good, though, nail clippers. That's quite handy, isn't it? Yeah, and literally, it's quite handy. It's quite handy. Have you got your hat? I got my hat. Wait a minute. Where's the joke? There should be a joke. The I'm joke is the bang on mine. Was it? No. Oh, I've got a joke in mine. I've got a joke too. Hold on. Let me just Have navigate you? this nonsense. This is. Oh, you've got. The... Yeah. I like the color of your hat. Thank you. That means a lot to me. No. Okay, put yours on. See? This is Christmas. We're spending Christmas together. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. For Christ's sake. <laughs> uh, all right, you want to do your joke first or shall I do mine? You do yours if you like, yes. What do you call a penguin in the Sahara Desert? Sahara Desert? I don't know, melting bird. Lost. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> uh, okay. okay, what about yours? Mine's very good. You've got a joke and trivia. So the joke Ooh. is, what do you get if you eat Christmas decorations? What do you get if you eat Christmas decorations? Um, I don't know. Tinselitis. That's dog. Isn't, it, isn't that stupid? Dumb. All right, what's the trivia? Okay, the trivia is... What bodily function can result in a wind of up to 200 miles an hour? A sneeze. Well done. Thank you, Mother. You were very good on the trivia, weren't well, you? Well, mine didn't have trivia, although I like to think my joke was also a bit of trivia. Your, your joke was a good one. It was better yeah. than mine. Thank mine you. was rubbish for my expense. Like tinselitis, was it? Tinselitis, yeah. Good. And it isn't even if you eat. I mean, it's got nothing to do with eating. You get a sore, sore throat. It's an infection, isn't it? Yeah, medic. It doesn't work as a joke, and medically, it's inaccurate. Exactly, it's absolute rubbish. I'm going yeah. to write to the Christmas cracker people and tell them they. Yeah, I know. This is their busy season, so give them a minute to reply. They this need is to when get most that intoxicated people are saying, "I don't like my pencil sharpener, and my jokes suck." <laughs> well, I've just. It's really funny because I looked up this morning. Um, I Googled it, where a Christmas cracker came from. And, the, and over here, and I think even over in America, a lot of the crackers are made by a company called Tom Smith. And apparently in the 1800s, he was a confectioner. And um, he Is decided to... Uh, oh, you could do it as a dollop, couldn't you? Ooh, anyway, okay, so, and, and then he decided to wrap his sweets. And then from that, he went on to doing Christmas crackers because that, you know, wrapped sweets look a little bit like that, don't they? Sure. Well, that's off camera, but I, anyway. I think we can all imagine what you're doing. Oh, anyway, it's 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 rubbish. But um, but I thought you might like to hear that. Yeah. Um, no, I did want to hear that. That is nice. It's just, a Christmas just, miracle. It is a Christmas miracle, isn't For it? Look, sake. look, look. Yeah, it's lovely. Look at the pretty little bow, isn't that's it nice? Cool. Oh, that's on the outside of your cracker. Yeah, you've that's got, from the outside you've won, of my you've won, Two. you've won for sure. Yeah, um, yeah. So okay. how did you get yours? Did you order yours off Amazon? I ordered mine, not off of Amazon, but I ordered mine. Did you? Yes. Yeah, um, I bought now, today. What, uh, what will you do Christmas Day? What will happen um, Christmas? Well, Christmas Day, um, I think Hillary and Nigel and I, we're all going to meet, that's my sister, we're going to meet 
for a walk um, and then and then I think they're going to come back here and we're going to have a glass of champagne and are you going to go to the field and give theft we could possibly go to the potato field it's too early for asparagus How, what is your potato count now do you need more um well I am rather low I did I did do some as jacket potatoes last night some small right. ones right but they are they are getting a bit they're a bit ropey now they're not very good ropey so, for those yeah. of us who are potato laymen what does ropey mean just a bit they're a bit not very good they're, they're, they're a bit bit rubbish a bit rubbish yeah. and then yes. will you go to the field to acquire more potatoes um well i could possibly do it but I, I think now i'd have to go quite far into the field and we've had so much rain there's so much mud that i might sink so I, I don't want to sink. So. so you might actually spend the three pounds on a pound of potatoes. Oh, they're not three pounds. How much is a they're pound of potatoes? Cheap. Um, don't really know, actually, because you buy them in. Yeah, you, how, who, why would I ask you? You get them all for free. You would have no idea. Exactly. I wouldn't have a clue. <laughs> yeah, you're the worst person to ask. Don't ask me for the price of potatoes. Yeah. Oh, well, they cost oh. about one boot. <laughs> It costs one boot, they do. You leave one boot behind, otherwise a farmer will shoot you. Um, okay, well, that's good. Well, that sounds pretty good. It's a weird that's, Christmas. It's good, isn't it? Now, are we to go, I want to just show you one quick photo. Sure, let's see. I've got okay. a couple. I've got, I've got some more, but I think this is so funny. I just found this just now. This is, this is snow in England. Yeah. Look with you. Can you yeah. see? Yeah, on the well, we, first of all, we all look like we're in the funhouse mirrors. <laughs> we all look really dumpy and small. But yeah, it, I remember in England one year, it, well, there was a frost. And we got up with our sleds, <laughs> so excited to go sledding on what ended up being just sledding down wet grass. But to us, we That's were, right. like, we're sledging, yeah, we're sledging. But <laughs> coming from where we come from, Wisconsin, like in Wisconsin, you... I mean, it just snows forever and nonstop and right. enormous piles of snow and you can sled. That's where you get your snow cat inner tube. But, um, but yeah, we would, I remember in England with a sled, the, 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 the conditions to sled snow was not a requirement. I, I can't remember. I think, I don't know whether it was when we got back or whether you wrote in a diary. Cause I think sometimes at school you had to write, didn't you about what you'd done over the holidays. Yeah. And I, awesome. and I think you, I think you wrote, or maybe you told somebody and I've overheard it, but I remember you wrote and said, they're so strange in England. They go sledging in frosts. Yeah. Yeah. They did. You couldn't believe it. Yeah. Yeah. It made no that, sense, but I would try, that, but you would, there would always be a kid who'd break his tailbone because you'd be like, yeah, there's no cushion. You are just, you're on rocks. But that that would be quite a, quite a heavy snow for England. That is here. a heavy snow for England because we were able to get enough to make a snow turd. It looks like it does, yes, which is yes. nice. Yes, um, that, that's really funny. Anyway, I thought that was rather that's amusing. That's a good one. I remember yeah. being in Florida very young and writing a letter to Santa for Christmas, and I wanted wood. Do you remember that? I do vaguely, yes. I wrote, I wrote Santa a letter and I was asking him to deliver a bunch of wood for Christmas. And you and my father were trying to uh, sort of set expectation properly that there, I would not be getting a huge delivery of wood in Florida that we would then be taking home. And Why I did went, you wood? I wanted to build a little fort. And in my head, I was going to build this fort. And I was like, and he'll bring me wood. And you guys were both like, he's, he's probably not going to bring the wood. And I was like, this is so specific for, how do you, and I was sort of like, I'm pretty sure I'll bring it if I ask for it. And then I think Christmas Day, I was like, son of a bitch. <laughs> what the hell? How did they know? That's crazy. You didn't um, bring it. We didn't even give you a little. Um, well, here's a, here's a, here's a non-Christmas picture for us. Do you remember this? Oh, yes, I do. But that was all filmed at Christmas or Oh, photographed it? at Christmas. Oh, so it is. Yeah, because mum and dad, mum and dad were over, and they took you for all those photos. Yeah. So this was a little yeah. ad I did, where I am. Oh. Every piece of me is made up of toys. My eyeballs are made yeah. out of goofy lollipop trains. My heart is a yes. weird clown, yeah. and it looks like my hand is a train, <laughs> which is interesting. Um, not normally you how you break down. 
didn't I you do. Have I have the I have the first? poster in my room. The big and poster. you changed the words, didn't you? What did I, you put on it? <laughs> I can't believe I remember. <laughs> It says we care about the whole child. Yes. And I put a piece of tape over the W. So it said we care about the whole child. With an, yes, I thought whole. that was very <laughs> My whole. Um, <laughs> and then the only other Christmas, I have a little video I'm going to play, but then this is the only other Christmas picture I have. Do you remember this? Oh, yeah. Well, I don't. Yes, I, I wasn't there, but that's Bob Hope, isn't it? Yeah, with, that's Bob Hope. With, that's another picture something. my friend took uh, when he used to work at Moto Photo, he would take pictures that he thought I would find interesting. And this is one of Bob Hope, making it, us all realize that you do get too old to go out at some point. Exactly, yes, exactly. You know, he was, a he was a he brummy, was, did he? You I think everybody's you. English. No, um, no, he was, I think he was born in Birmingham, I'm sure he was. Bob Hope anyway, was born in Birmingham? I think so, yeah, have a look. Don't, wouldn't they have a statue of Bob Hope in Birmingham if he was born in Birmingham? One of Maybe. the biggest entertainers of all time. I'll I'll go I'll Google it. In it a would minute. be called Birmingham. <laughs> I think the you're city wrong. of the city of hope. You always have this interesting uh, evaluation where if something's English, you like it a little more. Let's be honest, right? Mm. Like if I had said he was English, you'd go, oh, "I've always loved him." Yes, possibly. Yes, yes, okay. yeah, yeah, Good. yeah. I'm I'm not sure. Anyway, we I'll find out for you. But okay. look, look, that's you. Oh, in yeah, England. that's right. That's, that's with Charlotte. That's yeah, when my and, girlfriend at the time came to England with me, and I dressed for some reason like that. Yes, and she's yeah. dressed for Christmas, very sophisticated. And I'm dressed for a future. Yes, yeah. And then, by the way, for those of us who are returning pandemic viewers, in the background, hold on, hold it up again. <laughs> We've got our man in the background. Nigel. Yes, there he is. The bloody, and, I don't want to be in the bloody picture. And and his pan, 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 pan is going out tomorrow, isn't it? Yes, very Which good. Which will be last week for the people what, if, when this goes out. But we don't need to peel the curtain back that They will have seen it, won't they? Let's just let them air. Seen it. Yeah. Now, wait um, a minute. I've still, I've still okay. got some more Christmassy ones. All right. Um, this, I think this is so funny. Now, that's you with Nan. And, and... See in the background, there's yeah. like a chain of, and yeah. that would be, that would be real decoration in England. That's pretty and good though. Why do I look like not... I am eating someone else's lips? <laughs> well, because I think probably Hold I. Hold it up again. You've got sore lips. As Nick Why do used I have sore to... lips? Because I think it was so damp. Am I bottomless? There's a lot of problems here. You've got some sore-lipped Daffy Duck character sitting on Nan. And, and, you, and I've got a got... boot on. I've got one boot on and no pants. <laughs> and I'm eating someone else's lips. And this is... Good Lord. Good God. Okay. That's funny, isn't it? Now, wait a minute. Um, and there's another one of you um, another day. And then that's a, that's like it would be a very pretty decorated Christmas tree. Wait, you're, wait enough of the tree. Let's focus on these lips. What's this happening? Yeah. I think you used to get, Nick did too in England, very sore lips. Well, he did in America too, but Jesus. just very sore lips. I think because it, the climate was damp. and Wasn't there anything you could do instead of just letting this kid sit there looking like he was becoming a clown? I think I used to put Vaseline on them or something. I'm I sure that helped the whole look. I did there try we to are. Now they're shiny. <laughs> and you taste like petroleum jelly. Yes. Look, and that's 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 another party one. Is that with you? The, yeah, with the hats on. Look. Wow, look at that. And then that's it's your brother on the lap of Grandpa. But look at you. So what was what was a Christmas like? No, that's no, that's your brother on the lap. Oh, that's of Grandpa. it. What, what was Christmas like back then? What, what would you, I mean, obviously it's gotten ex enormously commercial now and there is uh, all right, you can put it down now, mom. We can just see you peeking behind it. Um, oh. There's obviously a lot of money put behind it and stuff, but, and kids get so much more. What was it like when you were a kid for Christmas? Did you get a lot of stuff? No. Oh no. What would um, you get? Well, we used to have a Christmas stocking and it right. usually used to have a sh um, a sugar mouse that you could what eat. What the hell is a sugar mouse? It was just just sugar. 
and it was shaped like in the a shape mouse. Of a mouse. And children didn't. You'd get an orange. A chocolate Sometimes, orange. No, no, no. An you'd orange. Just get regular orange, and you'd get a few peanuts in the shells. Jeez, and um, I'd rather coal. I think you might might have had a little gift of some sort, but it wouldn't be much. And then. We, our family, you would have that early morning. You thought Father Christmas had brought it, and right. of course, it was Dad really, right. as my sister told me when I was four. Right. Um, and then a bit later on, we'd open up the um, the big presents, and you'd probably have, probably have one thing, you know, like a doll yeah. or um, even something to wear. It was right. really very just, but you smaller, would, a smaller affair. It was very small and you yeah. really look forward to it. You know, it was so exciting and yeah. it was just um, all being together. And then and then we usually had um, chicken because chicken was sort of a luxury in those days. And we would have wow. a chicken for our Christmas meal. What was um, not a luxury? What was the, what was the regular meat? Um, or would there not I, be meat all the time? I think lamb was cheap yeah. and mum we would get a cut of lamb maybe on a Sunday. We'd have a leg of lamb and mum would make that. Probably do three meals. Um, and I think I think occasionally we had beef, but beef, it was all very expensive, you know. Do you remember this relative? No, who's that? That's just some lady I met on the street drunk in Milwaukee. <laughs> I don't remember it either. That was the day the Bucks, they won their playoff game. So I was in a hugging mood. You were out hugging everybody. Well, she worked at the Bradley Center, but she agreed to a hug too. That's uh, that wouldn't happen now, would it? No, well, not with COVID. Other than that, no. every other no. part of it would. The Bucks would be in the playoffs, no. and I'd be drunk at it. <laughs> well, here, let's. Um, do you want to watch minute. my video? Oh yes, please. All right, let's watch my video. Now, okay. this this is from. You'll remember this. This is from uh, probably about five or six years ago, maybe longer even. Yes, And um, it was Christmas and I was supposed to go, I was supposed to have a, a gig New Year's Eve. Uh, otherwise I was going to come to England. And then probably about two weeks before Christmas, that gig got canceled. And so I thought, fuck it, I'm just going to go to England and surprise you. And mm -hmm. then I went, I took a plane and then I think I flew Christmas day. And then I think Boxing Day, the day after Christmas, I came and uh, to where your mother at the time was staying and was quite ill. Um, but I came there and I surprised you. Do you remember that? I do remember. Okay, I do. So we're going to watch a video of that. So we'll have Andrew put this in so people can see this better. But hopefully you can see this and hear this. Let's see. What's the matter? Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh my god! I can't Hello? Oh my god! Hello? I do not believe it! <laughs> I thought I'd give you a little Christmas surprise! Oh my word! I can't believe it! Oh! Oh my god! Hello? Oh. Hello? I'm taping it. <laughs> I just can't believe it. Myself. Yeah, well. Oh, Mom. That was it. That's, that's amazing, isn't remember it? Remember that? Yes, I do remember. That's absolutely. I was so shocked. You were shocked. Did Nigel come down and get you? Yeah, I think he did. Yeah. And then I, were, I, I. Yeah. I think I was making a cup of tea, wasn't I? In the in the You're, little. You were in the, it was hard to navigate that little place, but yeah, you were making a cup of cha. Yes. And then I came and just popped out of a weird little bathroom. Yeah. And did Ni Nigel took you, brought you to mum's place? I think so. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. No, that, it, I, I just remember being, well, that face tells it all, doesn't it? I was yeah. just like, I didn't have a clue. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah. That was lovely. That was a great Christmas though. I, it was. I don't know how you pulled that off. It was so well, I ugly. actually remember talking to you right before I left, and you were like, 
what are you doing? And I was like, oh, I just took a yoga and I was at LAX just about to leave. And I was just like, oh, I took a yoga, you know, nothing special. And I'm like, no, I'm <laughs> actually, I'm about to get on a fucking plane and come to see you. <laughs> oh, that was, that was so lovely. You, did, you didn't stay very long. Did you stay about a week? I think I stayed a week, but then I was back shortly thereafter because of uh, Nan. Oh, passed away. Mom died, didn't yeah, she? Yeah. 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 yeah, for the funeral. Yeah. Yes, yeah. And that's yeah. when all, all the relatives saw me at the funeral and talked about how fat I looked. Y yes, yes. Yeah, and which then was... that night we got drunk after the funeral. And then that night I went and did stand up in the town center, remember? And yeah. People came there and passed out. Yes, yeah, uh, we, and they said they announced you, didn't they? It was stand up night, and they announced. Well, I went said, to I went to a town center in Stourbridge, and the guy had a stand up show, and I said, "Hey, I'm from LA. Can I do stand up?" He goes, "Oh yeah, you will do twenty, which is just quite an obese offer for someone who's just like, hey, can I be on your show?" <laughs> and I remember they announced us, and they said it was really unusual evening. They had a they had a, a funeral party. Yeah, we were, we were still in our funeral suits and <laughs> yes. attire and all that shit. Yeah. And we had a curry, didn't we? They had a curry buffet. It was quite English, yeah. quite an English affair. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, that was great. So I just thought I'd show that video today for the Christmas bit. Well, it's, it's appropriate, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Um, now wait, all right, I wanted let's to do a couple more, yeah. Okay, this is another one of um, a typical English, well, our family. Oh, English. yes. Or with the hats like we've got on. And again, look at Nigel crushing some booze in the background like a boss. <laughs> I'll just have a little wee sip. I'll just have a dram of whiskey. Yeah. That's funny, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I don't know why I put that in. Look, that's oh, ended up going. Is that me? That's you. Why do I look like I have serpent eyes? <laughs> I literally, what, I can't, is there not a time where my face appeared normal? Either I look like I'm eating someone else's lips or that I can put laser holes through walls. <laughs> oh, you were so sweet. Just throwing Aww. me on a bed on a pillow like a regular adult. I think that's really nice. I think that's lovely. You're all dressed in blue, blue for a boy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right, you're off the hook. <laughs> so what, what have you been doing? Uh, do you mean in my regular life or what is yeah. my plan for? Uh, not too much. You know, things tend to wind down now. I, uh, there's a lot of stuff. I have well coming up in the new year. So just a lot of working on that right now, but really not a ton, just kind of uh, getting ready, trying to get back in shape after the hamstring injury, you know, the usual. And what are you going to do? Are you going to make one of those turkeys for yourself? Yeah, I've, I've got the, uh, my Australian friend, uh, who, Sass, who runs an amazing place called uh, Salem Cafe, gave me a rest, top secret recipe for her turkey, which I made on Thanksgiving. Yes, I will make that again. And I'm going to make a vegan shepherd's pie. A vegan shepherd's pie. Mm -hmm. Oh, there now, is. how are you going to do that? Which part do you flag? Well, I'm just thinking the, the potatoes on the top. Yeah. Yum, yum. Um, have you stolen them? Have you no, them? I, they won't taste as good. That won't be nearly as no, satisfying. No, they won't be the same. Um, but the, the bottom... Um, how are you doing? What are you doing? The meat? Is it, are you doing corn? No, I'm not doing corn. Aren't you? What I'm are not, you doing? Not while I'm in quarantine. No, uh, no. I'll be having, uh, the Beyond Beef makes these uh, crumbles. So they're, they're, it's something that's very good. It'll, it'll work very well. And what will you put in it? Will you fry some onions and? All the stuff. Yes. I've got to get some yes. port. I understand Ooh. that's important. Yeah. Are you putting port in it? That's the recipe calls for port. I'm not here. Don't shoot the messenger. Oh, that sounds lovely, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, a little bit for the, little bit for the pie, a little bit for the guy. You know, one of I those. Know. A little I bit for you, some for the doctor. <laughs> I might have to have that recipe. It sounds very good. Yeah, you get a little bit of alcohol in a lot of recipes. Will help you out. You know. Yes. A little, yeah. little white wine, yeah. little sh sherry, mm. something like that. What is what is the the dish? The dessert dish in England that we light on fire with brandy. What is that? Chris, Christmas pudding. Christmas pudding. Never enjoyed it. Always loved the flame. Never loved the meal. You? You know the Christmas pudding. I never used to, but I've got to like it. I think it's a Strong improved. brandy flavor in that. Yeah, it, well, yes, because you, you uh, I mean, you can make it well in advance. I used to make it and you poke holes in it and you pour brandy in it, you know, throughout the, 
um, I can't think what you call it, but when it's maturing, you, you pour. You when can make voice a- is changing. Yes. Right. <laughs> but um, but Christmas Christmas pudding, and no, I never used to like it, but I do like it now. I, yeah. I like, and and I've never liked Christmas cake, but what's um, Christmas I, cake? Uh, well, it's it's fruit. It's just a fruit cake, and it's got marzipan oh. Oh. royal ice on the top. Yeah, okay. But I bought I bought one the other day, and it was really nice, and I just bought another one. So you know, I it. have it on good authority from Andrew, who cuts these together for us. That yes, Costco in England, which is a shame to hear that it's there, has the yeah. best mince pies. Oh, do they? No. But I told him you have Marks and Sparks loyalty. You'll only go to Marks and Spencers. I like Marks and Spencers and I like Waitrose, yes. I'm quite yeah. a snob. I'm yeah. quite a snob. But, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. But, um, but I think cost, if you've got a family, I think Costco um, cost whatever it is. is very. Is it Costco? Who knows? Who cares? Uh, mm. Do you have one more picture? Then we'll we'll call it the we'll call the yes, end of the, to the Christmas wanted, pandemic. Yes, I just wanted to show this one. This this would be um, Christmas in California, and a much nicer tree. Sure, great. Let's do another. Yeah. Oh, I have got one more, but this one's okay. nothing to do with. You have one that either of us are in. Remember, that's what makes these interesting. Oh no, I'm sorry. Just, just of a tree. I've got a picture of Bridge North. <laughs> what the fuck? What? What? Is the point? Well, I just thought. I thought. <laughs> what are you doing? You're just showing pictures of trees and houses. This but is that's... not an HGTV show. <laughs> that's, but that's that's Bridge North, and that's a tu- that's a Tudor house. <laughs> a Tudor house. Mm-hmm. It would be very old. That when you right. come the next, we'll go to Bridge North. Oh, good! I can finally put a house with the picture. You can, you can, you can photograph that house if you like when you're there. That, oh, that would, I, I wouldn't be able oh, to do as good of a job. Wait a minute, hang about. Do you have any of a patch of grass or maybe a door handle or something? No, here's a here's another nice one. Oh, that's Christmas with garden gnomes. Oh, that's you and Dolly. Yeah, okay, that's yeah, a nice one. That's, that's that's Christmas. Nice. Are you enjoying sure. that one? That's good. way better than showing me the picture of a tree or of a house. Yeah, now wait a minute. Um, oh, this was you, your first Christmas. Ugh. Put me <laughs> back in. Put me back in. That was your first Christmas when you were born. And this was your first Christmas. Now, is it true that I was born much like Jesus immaculately? That I, there was conception wise? What, you were an immaculate conception? Yes, there was no hanky panky. I just became. Uh, well, no. No, I, I don't think so. I think. Uh, disgusting uh all right show me that last one where it looks like you've made me a baby on a plane well it's it's because you're it's all in red and that again would be around christmas time you'd been a little red and that was seat. my favorite stuffed animal couch pillow yes yeah yes yes definitely i'm glad you spotted that <laughs> good lord just insane isn't it funny you used to have a little um i had a little mechanical swing for you you mean a thing that would do your job for you? Yes, yes. yes. So I, I could go, I could go and just sit in the kitchen and drink. <laughs> yeah. How's he doing on the swing then? <laughs> Shut up! Is his eye still red? <laughs> I'll be in to wind you up in a minute. <laughs> uh, I'm going to wind me up and then I'll wind you up. <laughs> uh, well, lovely. Well, Merry Christmas, Mummy. As always, a shame we won't be able to see each other this year. Merry Christmas to you, darling. Hopefully and Father Christmas brings you lovely items. And well, when on Christmas Day, I'm going to talk to you and Nick, and we're going to open up the two boxes I've had um, all together, the three of us. Lovely. So that will be really, really nice, won't Slashing. it? Yes. Yes. That will be lovely. Super well, smashing. Greatly look forward to it. All my love. Yeah. Any Christmas words to the people? Um, just Merry Christmas to everybody. And I just hope next year is a much better year. And, and what would you and say you... to the Jews that you're ignoring? Pardon? What would you say to the Jews you're ignoring with your statement? Oh, well, I would just say enjoy whatever your uh, season is to, you know. Hanukkah, Hanukkah they celebrate. Yes, yes. Enjoy it. Have a nice time and light lots of candles. And No, no, uh, no. Light, one, light eight candles, but off of enough oil for one night. And then okay. you'll have a miraculous eight days. Yeah, okay. Is that what it's about? Okay. I've, never, 
I've never really quite known what it is. Yes, that's but... the story of Hanukkah. They had enough yeah. oil for the lamp for one night and the lamp lasted eight days. So that's why they do eight candles. Oh, is that what, they, is that what those, um, what do they call those things? Chew, chew, chew back. Chew back. Chew back. Chew back. Something in yep. the window. Yep, that's what they but call the window. What, what do they call? They there call them the C3PO's. The C, is it dr not Dragal? Not, no, Dragal's nothing that they talk about. No, no. Dreidel is something they use. Dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. I made dreidel. you out of clay. You're thinking is of the menorah. The menorah. That's the thing I'm thinking of. Yes, yes. I always think that's rather pretty. Well, it seems like you uh, have quite a grasp on Judaism. Uh, yes, you yeah. Really yeah. Well, yeah you've got some Jewish in you. I'd love some more. Um, yeah. All right, Mummy. Merry Christmas. Okay. Merry Christmas to you. Love you, Mum. Nope. Oh, you've got a nice bow hand. So I'm wearing my, yeah. Really ties the hand together. <laughs>